purchase your copy of TurboCAD from CADCourse.net. Okay, so this plugin strategy certainly does sound very exciting. Is that uh, part and parcel of uh, why you guys signed up with the IntelliCAD uh, people? Could you give us a little bit of motivation behind uh, joining that uh, IntelliCAD consortium? Uh, the IntelliCAD consortium sign-up was a little bit different than the plugin strategy. It, it, it deals mainly with trying to make uh, TurboCAD a little bit more compatible with uh, the AutoCAD world. And by compatible, I mean some of the things that TurboCAD still lacks are a, uh, a list development environment and something analogous to, to AutoLisp. So being an ITC member does get us that technology and it gives us some, some further insights into the development of, of, of a third-party plugin, certainly you know, with the way our desk is now working with an open ARX environment and uh, the ITC is working with something similar to that and, and licensing, uh, I get a set of libraries from the ODA. Could, 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 could you, sorry, briefly explain what open ARX uh, is uh, for our readers who don't know? I can try and give a layman's uh, description of that, but basically it's just sort of the development environment or language that uh, Autodesk uses in exposing its functionality to third-party developers. So, if I'm going to create a plugin, which, you know, for example, use, does uh, surface modeling, and I want to be able to access the the engine of AutoCAD, for example, it's it does. Third-party developers are able to do this through the open ARX development environment. And I may not be using the right words there, but I think in layman's terms, it's that's uh, what I'm, I'm trying to express. I think that sounds right. From a, from a DWG point of view, when somebody's trying to open a DWG in TurboCAD, they, you do get these advanced plug-in features that are... Um, embedded in the drawing through this object uh, ARX. Um, let's say an example of that would be a, a fancy door for architectural desktop or something like that. Um, now those are translated already in the in the uh, ODA libraries. Is that correct? I believe I believe so. Yes, in, in terms of the support of architectural object types that are found in ADT or uh, architectural desktop, Auto, AutoCAD architectural desktop, uh, those entities are now, because we've in, incorporated the ODA's, what they call open DRX uh, libraries into TurboCAD, what that means is that we can actually recognize and read a door as a door, a window as a window, or, or uh, any analogous supported object types from TurboCAD that come from an architectural desktop source. And what that's, so we've been using that as a platform to build our architectural functionality. And so sort of the irony, if you will, here is that if, if uh, you export an, a DWG file from architectural desktop, TurboCAD will read it fine in the sense that it would recognize the uh, many of the architectural object types like doors, windows, stairs, and rails. AutoCAD, on the other hand, will not recognize that because it doesn't understand those extensions of the DWG file format, at least in, in AutoCAD. Oh, I so, see. so the, again, the irony here is that, uh, in a sense, TurboCAD's more compatible with one of Autodesk's products than AutoCAD is it, itself. <laughs> That's very interesting. Now, do you ever see um, IMSI coming out with a version of IntelliCAD per se, or is it just you can be used strictly for development? You know, at at this juncture, no, I don't. I don't see that. I think we're we're looking at pieces of the technology rather than an an, an application. We don't see ourselves in the same vein as a Cadopio or a Autodesk or you know one of those companies that are just doing a, a plain vanilla clone. Oh, I see. 
Um, all right. Now, while we're talking about uh, architectural stuff, uh, let's uh, cross over to that. So those are very exciting improvements that you now are using that uh, that architectural technology within TurboCAD. And uh, talk a little bit about uh, the new doors and windows and the implications of that. Well, the, the nice thing about that is that, that these are parametric object types. And so, you know, and they're objects that, that represent themselves in either a 2D or a 3D uh, view in TurboCAD. So that's that's really a nice sort of feature in the, in the product so that you, you can very quickly sketch out a, a, a house plan, if you will, and then you can drop doors and windows in. And because they're parametric, uh, you can go to the, the new selection info palette and uh, you can quickly change any of the, the dozens of parameters that are associated with those object types. And so you have, as a, from a design perspective, you have complete control over the way you can manipulate those object types. And, you know, with some of the other functionality, uh, if you're not happy, for example, you can use the select by entity type tool in TurboCAD to, say, select all your windows and then you can make a wholesale change instead of a window-by-window window change. So it's uh, because they're parametric, because they support sort of the architectural desktop convention in terms of styles and sizes, It's you have unlimited design options for these sorts of things. And, and our goal is, you know, with TurboCAD 15 and beyond, is to support more and more of these architectural object types. We, you know, we have to add a, a slab definition we need to make our our roof uh, conform to that same ADT convention, so roofs will become uh, fully parametric as well. So by having roofs, slabs, doors, windows, stairs, and rails, we're starting to create a fairly uh, robust architectural version of TurboCAD. One of the things that a couple of my users really enjoyed in earlier versions was uh, the first pricing, first windows. Um, what yes. is the link up with them, and, uh, and is there a future to still uh, continue using that technology? Yes, I mean, that is our intent. In fact, I was just on the phone yesterday with uh, Doug Lopez from First Pricing, and we talked about getting their, their latest uh, First Pricing module and begin the integration of that uh, new XML-based product into TurboCAD. And we actually even talked about some other things that they have that that they're doing, and we see some real synergies, again, especially in the direction we've taken now with having these architectural packs, uh, having the first pricing module uh, back in, because uh, they've gone, uh, or they are in the midst of going beyond just offering windows and skylights as as part of their technology. It sounds like they're, they themselves have, have expanded their support to multiple different object types, and they're looking also more at not just generic CAD packages, but more architectural CAD packages like ADT and, and ARCHICAD and uh, Vectorworks as well. So we like what we see in first pricing, and so we will, uh, you know, barring any unforeseen technical difficulties, uh, have that uh, plug-in reintegrated into uh, TurboCAD Pro. Oh, that's very exciting. Uh, and certainly all of the architectural developments do sound, uh, you know, really, really key. Uh, now, today many of my users actually use floor plan in conjunction with TurboCAD. Uh, can you take, give us a little bit of a heads up on, on, on that link? Is that, are you going to continue to stress that the link between floor plan and TurboCAD, or is TurboCAD going to just uh, mainly be standalone? Well, it, you know, it's hard to say in... I think in the long long run, you know, our our goal is to to support a full complement of uh, architectural object types, and whether or not that means uh, there's a place for floor plan, I, I you know, I, I wouldn't really say. I think one of the far, the primary differences is that floor plan we we see is that as strictly a consumer product, and we don't see migrating floor plan, if you will, into the the professional architectural or building build design marketplace where we do think that TurboCAD has those legs to do that. So, uh, you know, again, we see that the floor plan line really is a, a consumer play where ultimately we see TurboCAD or certainly TurboCAD Pro as a, a professional play that can go into these, these different 
uh, domain areas. Purchase your copy of TurboCAD from CADCourse.net.